Hey fellow nevelers, welcome back to the channel. My name's Sarah, otherwise known as Neville O'Clock, because any hour on that big clock is the best time for some Neville wisdom. As you know, we're working our way through Your Faith is Your Fortune from our dear Neville. We're on chapter 11, Christmas. It's not quite what we think it is. So let's dive in and see what Neville says about Christmas. So. So, we got a Bible quote because Neville's prefaced every chapter in this book with one of those. Let me read it to you, my lovelies. He says, Behold, a virgin shall be with child and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. That's from Matthew 1.23. Of course, most of us know that Bible quote and the story of Christmas. Neville shares it this way. He says, one of the most controversial statements in the New Testament concerns the virgin conception and subsequent birth of Jesus. A conception in which man had no part. It is recorded that a virgin conceived a son without the aid of man, then secretly and without effort gave birth to her conception. Making me think of our desires, my lovelies, he says, this is the foundation upon which all Christendom rests. I'd agree with you there, Neville. He says, the Christian world is asked to believe this story, for man must believe the unbelievable to fully express the greatness that he is. The more you listen to these videos and dive into Neville's works, you will understand just how great you are. I'm beginning to understand just how great I am, and you are that too. Now, he says, Scientifically, man might be inclined to discard the whole Bible as untrue because his reason will not permit him to believe that the virgin birth is physiologically possible. But the Bible is a message of the soul and must be interpreted psychologically if man is to discover its true symbology man must see this story as a psychological drama rather than a statement of physical fact now that makes it a whole lot more easier to understand huh feel free to leave a comment down there because i know you lovelies listen to this video may have a different conception of Christmas, just like I did before Neville bumped into me and smacked me awake. All right, my lovelies, let's continue. He says, in so doing, he will discover the Bible to be based on a law, which, if self-applied, will result in a manifested expression, transcending his wildest dreams of accomplishment. And that's where we're all going, right? Yes. Now, to apply this law of self-expression, man must be schooled in the belief and disciplined to stand upon the platform that all things are possible to God. We'll leave the chapter right there, my lovelies. It's quite a 
big wake up, that first couple of paragraphs. Our conception of Christmas is completely different to the one that Neville is telling us. Well, it may be completely different for most of mankind, humankind, humanity. It's different how Neville explains how it's manifesting something marvellous in our world. So, end of video for today, my lovelies. Feel free to subscribe. Please hit like and give it the thumbs up. YouTube loves it. And of course I do too. I'll be back again with some more wonderful wisdom from Neville about Christmas. It's quite a big chapter, so we'll dive rather deep into it. Thank you for your time and attention, my lovelies. Big fat kiss because we're all about love up here. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.